Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a leg workout and it is no machines, it is only using dumbbells. And this here is Rachel. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Hi guys, so my name is Rachel Laceris and I am a fitness coach. I created a program for those busy gals for you guys to get in and out of the gym while still building your results. And then her Instagram is... It's just Rachel Laceris, just my full name. Yeah, and then I'll just link it down below and then we're gonna go ahead and do the full workout and follow along. And so it was both workouts that like her and I put together. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy and before we go ahead and get started make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and the little notification bell and let's go ahead and get started so starting off we are doing a booty activation and we are using my bands from sport to people you guys see me use these on instagram all the time i love them so we are starting off with these side kicks i just hold a pole just for stabilization but you want to make sure that you Keep your back straight and you're only moving the one leg at a time. I usually do 10 to 15 movements each leg. Next, we are going into a pigeon walk, pulse, and jump compound. I usually just do like five to eight pigeon walks, do about five pulses, and then jump forward. And we will do this about 10 to 15 times. And then next we are going to go into kickback. So I'm just going to kick back about 10 to 15 times each leg. And after we finish that, we're going to go into the workout. Next we are going to go into our workout. So we're going to do these dumbbell deadlifts and you want to make sure that you are keeping your back straight the whole time. And at the bottom I will slightly bend my knees, but you want to imagine as if you are holding the dumbbells down in a straight line. So I would just do about 10 to 15 movements, just focusing on that hamstring and mind to muscle, go really, really slow. And you can see the dumbbells are going in a straight up and down movement as well. So here you can see a back view of Rachel and she has really great form keeping the back really straight. So you wanna kinda just slightly bend your knees so you're able to keep the dumbbells pretty straight. We are repeating this exercise for a total of three sets. Next, we are going into single leg hip thrust. If you only have dumbbells available, these single leg hip thrusts are a really great variation to make sure you still get that heavy weight workout using what you have available. So here you set up by just putting your shoulder blades on the bench and then I have my knees out at a 90 degree angle and just slowly pushing off using my heel and thrusting my hips all the way up. I use a pad just so that the dumbbell is kind of cushioned and doesn't really irritate my hips or anything like that. So we're just going to do 10 to 15 movements each leg and repeat for a total of three sets. Next we are doing single leg deadlifts. This one doesn't look hard but trust me you will be sore in the morning. The really important thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure that your back is super straight. My back was actually arching a little Little bit so the next day my back was super sore so you just want to make sure you're really extra focusing on making sure your back is straight i am just taking the dumbbell and doing one leg at a time and kicking the opposite leg straight back just to kind of help me with my balance and making sure i can get down as low as possible this is going to be similar to the other straight leg deadlift that we did we want to make sure that we are holding the dumbbell in a straight line up and down and we're going to repeat each leg for 10 to 15 reps for a total of three sets Next, we are going into Bulgarian split squats, and these are killer. Rachel, you can see, she kind of has the top of her foot laying flat, but if that kind of bothers your foot, sometimes I will just put my toe up on the bench, so making sure that her knee does not go in front of her toes. And you just wanna make sure you have your back straight and bending slowly at the knee and make sure you are having most of the weight forward in your foot that is down and really focusing mind to muscle. This one hurts, so we are going to do this for about 10 to 15 reps for a total of three sets. Finally, we are finishing off with curtsy pulses. These are a really great way to target like your side booty and getting that volume. Um, so I really love incorporating curtsy squats into my workouts. Here I just have two light to medium weight dumbbells. I have one in each hand. It's just like a lunge, but you want to inch your back foot over to the side a little bit and I'm actually making sure that I push up all the way and making sure that I'm focusing a lot of my mind on that hamstring that is in the front and you are just going to do 10 to 15 pulses each leg and repeat the workout for a total of three sets. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed and now that we look 
nice and sweaty and gross. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this workout and if you did, let us know down in the comments what was your favorite part, if you have any other dumbbell workouts that you guys like to do. And be sure to check out Rachel's Instagram as well. She has lots of great workouts and like inspiration on her page and I will see you guys next time. Bye, Bye guys!